Brett referenced the time you evaluated him in high school until he is now. What have you seen in terms of progression from him? Uh, really pretty similar. Just uh, good skills and just steadily improved. What was it about him in high school that stood out to you when you first saw his film? Uh, I thought he was accurate. thought he made good decisions. Coach, after the game, you mentioned that you thought the team didn't handle adversity well. Is that something that can be coached throughout the week, or is that something that the team just has to kind of find within themselves? I think both. I think, I think both. I think part of it is don't overcomplicate anything. Just focus on uh, your basic job and what counts there. I think when focus gets splintered up, that's when guys have problems. What have you seen from the Broncos when looking at their, their first game against Louisiana Lafayette? Well, it's a tough game to see because it was. The, I didn't think Lafayette played very well, and then of course the got away from them uh, fairly early. But uh, you know, I, it's uh, they're just kind of a steady team. You know, good steady team. These do what they do. They look a lot like they did last year. Do, do you limit yourself then mostly to, to looking at them against other, other kind of Power Five opponents, or at least closer uh, games? A combination of all. You know, because they. Uh, they only play a limited amount of Power Five opponents, so it's kind of tough to do, you know. Have they, uh, to to what you've seen, have they sort of continued the Boise State uh, tradition of trickery? Uh, they, yeah, they they do that. They got a couple, so and shifts and motions. Does that make for a pretty fun week for your scout team offense? Uh, yeah, I suppose. You know, I mean, uh, some of it's window dressing, some of it's real. You just play sound, you know. You're not expecting a, a Statue of Liberty play, though? Oh, they might. They might. Mike, you made a point the last couple of days about the uh, increasing uh, comparability of the FCS and FBS front line wise as opposed to depth wise. How much of that is related to the rush to get commitments earlier and earlier? Oh, I think some definitely is. I think it happens a variety of ways. I think one is, uh, you know, transfers, guys will transfer that want to play and that may be later developers. I also think, in some cases, academics, I think. Uh, uh, and then the other thing I think is, uh, you know, what happens, like what you're talking about, is guys will get commitments early and then, <coughs> you know, those guys that get on lists of things end up having big sophomore years. And then some guys are, are great players and they don't have a great year until their senior year, you know. Uh, you know, if you think about some guys like Dominic Williams or somebody, their great years came even after that. So. You know, I think they evolve into some guys that way, and um, and when you add it all up, uh, you know, it's it's always a pretty stout team, and then you have the whole team collectively, and then there's guys emerge, and you can piece together a pretty good first level group, you know, which they do, you know, and uh, and I think most of them do that are pretty good, and then of course those guys are well coached, and tradition, and all that, you know, they're better. They're, better to play in life to be mm -hmm. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.